I'm here with Robert Garcia. It's finally fight week. We've been here in Macau, China for a few days now. How has the reception been with you and Brandon and the team kind of when you've been walking around with the people here so far? It's actually been good. You know, we we didn't expect it to be that good. People are giving us really good uh they're accepting us here. Uh, they're very supportive. Uh, everywhere we're walking around, people want to take pictures with Brandon. It's it's nice. It's actually better than we expected. Yeah, the posters are kind of everywhere around the hotel, everywhere around the city on buses and, and everything like that. And you kind of know back home in the States, if you fight there, no matter where he goes, he's going to be recognized. But here, you guys probably weren't sure what you were going to get. But yet he has had some people, even when you've gone outside the hotel, that have recognized him, right? Yes, we yeah. have. Uh, we thought uh, nobody would even know who he was. Mm -hmm. We thought a lot of people might dislike us because we're fighting Manny Pacquiao and, we, you know, being so close to the Philippines, everybody, we thought everybody was going to be behind Manny Pacquiao, but it looks like we got some support here. We got a lot of uh, people that are that are waiting for this fight, that are actually wishing us good luck, that are actually telling us that they want that they want Brandon to win. So it it, it feels good to know that uh, in this country, in 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 this uh, in this side of the world, we get we get that support. And you've been a part of huge promotions before and, and pay-per-views, but how has this compared uh, in your experience going through this uh, from the press tour and everything they build up and now being here, uh, this whole lead up to the fight with Brandon against Manny? Well, it, it is different. Just the fact that it's in another country, the fight that we're going to fight in the morning, uh, the fact that, uh, that you know, we did a two-week tour going through so many different cities here in China was, was unbelievable. It was uh, a great experience. Uh, I, I, I call I, I say it was a little vacation for us because mm -hmm. we had fun. We had a uh, we had a good time to relax, uh, two weeks to relax before we started training camp. So that was I think that that helped out not only Brandon but myself also uh, before a big fight, a big training camp to give those two weeks of just getting to know the the cities here in China and uh, and. Just, you know, vacationing. It was great. And I feel like we've done a, a ton of interviews, and, and now the lead-up to the fight, it's been about five months altogether since you kind of found out about the fight and the light training and then the press tour, now heavy training. How would you kind of sum everything up now that we're in the, the home stretch here for the final week? Now we're five days away. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy. You know, when when uh, when Brandon first learned about the fight, I was actually training Mikey. Uh, I think it was a, for his fight against Juanma. And uh, Brandon called me and says, Cameron did it. You know, he got me the fight. I'm like, that's great, man. We uh, we just now got to focus, got to train. Uh, we were in the gym thinking, God damn, we still got five months before the fight. It now flew. we're five days away. It, 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 by, did, didn't flew, it? it did It did fly, like, you know, really fast. Uh, it was yesterday when we were thinking we're five months away, and now we're just five days away. There's been a lot of talk most recently now that the 24-7s have, have come out and the camps uh, back and forth. Not, not so much you guys. I don't think you guys have initiated much, but, but even Freddie in saying, you know, we're, we're going to show him who the best trainer is and, and who the best gym is. But for the most part, you don't really pay attention to that much, right? It's, it's more or less about just getting Brandon ready and let him do the talking in the ring. Look, I, I never pay attention to that, but, uh, but just the fact that Freddie Roach is saying that Freddie Roach is... Is 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 has been the best trainer for the past 10, 15 years. I started my gym five years ago. <laughs> you know, for him to be comparing. feeling feeling threatened or comparing himself to me, I would I would be embarrassed. You know, I I uh, I started my gym five years ago, and and now I'm at a I'm at a level where where he feels like he needs to prove something. Man, uh, you know, especially these last two years, I've. Uh, you know, I've done so great. Things have gone great for my for my team. Maybe maybe not for him, and he he feels pressure, and he needs to make a big statement. But not me. I'm actually comfortable. I'm very sure of what 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 we have, the fighters that I have, uh, the results that I've been getting, and uh, and of course this this big fight is going to be huge, and uh, we're we're expecting good results. You know, if if uh, you know if he wants to start a fight, he's not going to get it. I'm actually honored to be mentioned to be to be mentioned uh, as one of the best trainers next to him and so many great trainers that they have that we have had in the world always classy appreciate that robert <laughs> <laughs> all right with robert garcia i'm christina poncher